thing. Hey guys, welcome back to Hans and Groot. Today we're back as promised. We're going to be firing the Elder One. This is our G40 Glock long slide, comes with a six inch barrel. We've got a almost seven inch KKM threaded barrel on there. And we're gonna shoot this over the chrono with various ammo like we discussed prior. We got our Vortex Venom on there, makes this a real nice shooter. We have a few different mags and uh, the most exciting part is gonna be seeing what we get out of the com or comparing the stock Glock barrel, our KKM long barrel, and our 9x25 Dillon barrel, which we talked about before, and we'll see how this guy compares. Before we get into it, most people aren't familiar with the 9x25 Dillon, um, the really cool caliber that came out in the 90s so that guys could make major factor, uh, which I guess they changed the rules and kind of made the the round somewhat obsolete but it's still a really neat round show you a quick comparison let Groot down Groot. here's our stock Glock barrel six inch and here's our KKM 9x25 Dillon barrel this guy's seven inches and we'll see what we get uh, rounds here's your standard 10 mil See that there and this is the 9x25 Dillon same case it's just neck down to 9 millimeter so lots of extra velocity pretty neat this is basically a 357 Magnum auto loader shut so we've got the chronographs up I know that's going to be accurate so try it again three rounds 180 grain cellular and below full metal jacket and we'll be using the six inch G40 stock Glock barrel I noticed there was a rock behind there and shot that rock about six feet in the air. We got an error that time. There we got 1,097 feet per second. One thousand one hundred four feet per second. You don't want to see a two-shot group. We'll give you another one. And an error over the chrono. I think it's the sun moving. Another air. One thousand one hundred seventeen feet per second. We'll average that out and post it on here. We're going to move on to the Magtech. We have one hundred eighty grain. Magtech, three rounds, full metal jackets, stock Glock barrel, six inch out of the G40. Let's see if it is a little hotter. Twelve hundred one. Eleven eighty four. It's a little hotter. Eleven eighty. Agtex, good stuff. Moving up in power, we have the Fioki, one hundred and eighty grain, jacketed hollow point, advertised. 1,250 feet per second. Again, six inch Glock barrel, stock.
1217 absolutely feels warmer Twelve thirty-seven, close to advertised out of a six-inch barrel. Twelve ten, so a little less than advertised, but certainly warmer than the the usual stuff. All right, we're going to pick it up to the warm stuff here. Very warm. Underwood, ten millimeter, two hundred twenty grain hard cast. Underwood says twelve hundred feet per second. Often they kind of underestimate which is better than overestimating right when I get what you paid for that's that cherry coated stuff neat stuff it's supposed to be safe in your standard Glock barrel Air, absolutely hotter. Eleven seventy five. Twelve oh six. And we got to get you what you paid for. With a like and a subscribe, of course. That'd be awesome. One more of the 220 grain. Back up. Root back up. Root sometimes wants to get under the bench. Eleven fifty-eight. We'll call that as advertised. Good stuff. That's from a six inch clock barrel stock. Again, my favorite underwood round, 155 grain, jacketed hollow point, out of the stock, glass, barrel, underwood rates at 1500 feet per second, which is pretty smoky stuff. There you go, 1598. 1543. Next, we'll jump over the 135 grain underwood advertised at 1600 feet per second 135 grain underwood stock clock six in barrel fifteen forty two Fifteen thirteen. Fifteen eighteen. So the hundred and thirty five grainers were a little slower than expected. Now we're gonna switch it over and we'll drop our KKM six and three quarter inch barrel. Okay. We got our KKM 10 millimeter barrel, 6.75 or six and three quarter inch threaded KKM barrel. And we're back to the beginning. Again, we're gonna do the S&B 180 grain full metal jacket. Here we get. Eleven fifty seven. Things move along a little faster. Eleven thirty-three. Eleven forty. 
pretty consistent. Go over to the 180 grain full metal. Twelve thirty. Twelve forty six. Twelve twenty. Fairly consistent. Fioki, one hundred eighty grain jacket hollow point. Six and three quarter inch KKM. Twelve three. Twelve fifty. The extra barrel length seems to make a difference. We got twelve seventy six there. Hard cast, 220 grain underwoods. Here we go. Twelve thirty-four. Twelve twenty-nine. Twelve twenty-two. All right, one hundred fifty-five grain underwood. Sixteen eleven. 155 grain. Fifteen sixty-nine. Error, we'll pop another one in there quick. And last year we got the 135 grain underwood. Really hoping to see these fly out of the long barrel. 135 grain. Sixteen twenty. Error. Sixteen thirteen. We'll pop one more real quick. So if you want your underwood to go really fast, you can extend the barrel. KKM. Sixteen oh six. Pretty good stuff. Forgot to do the seventeen seventy six. Hundred twenty five grainers. We'll pop a couple of those off here quick and see what we get. These are frangible. Thirteen, eighteen. I don't know what that first one was. It had no recoil. Kind of caught me by surprise. These are really soft shooters. Twelve, 
$12.99. Do one more quick because I didn't give you the reading on that first one. Wow, the recoil on these are like nine mil. Alright, here's the fun stuff. This is the Underwood 24 grain 9x25 Dillon round out of our KKM 7 inch barrel. Seventeen ninety. We got ninety three over it advertised. Seventeen sixty. Seventeen sixty six. We'll step up the fun a little bit. 90 grain, we have the fence out of an underwood. 9 by 25 Dillon. I'm gonna just guess we're at 2150. Let's see. Thanks for these. 2187. Twenty-one sixty-two, and all the birds left. Twenty-two oh six. Uh, you might have seen the fireball there, like I did. So I almost left the range, and didn't want to show you my group. So on the left. So I mean, here's the. This is a five-inch target here. We we're shooting at 25 yards. All the rounds here on the left were uh, from the S&B, Magtech, and the Fiocchi rounds. We have about five kind of misses there at 25 yards. So go ahead and criticize me in the comments. And everything over here is the Underwood stuff. And that's both the 10 mil and the uh, 9 by 25 and if you can pick out some of the holes are smaller and those are going to be your 9 by 25 holes there so overall super impressed shoots great with all the different ammo i mean it shoots pretty accurately and that's just shooting freehand it from behind a 25 yard table so hopefully i didn't disappoint you with my accuracy all right real quick thanks for coming and watching so the g40 awesome firearm more awesome with a six and three quarter inch KKM barrel. And we'll put all the math up there when we edit the video. And super awesome with this 9x25. No, I'm really shocked at the velocity we picked up with this barrel and using that 9x25 Dillon ammunition. So remember, a 9x25 Dillon ammo can't be fired out of a 10 millimeter barrel. You have to have a 9x25 barrel to convert this guy over 9 by 25 Dillon. This is all you need. I got mine from KKM. I don't think they have them on their website anymore. You probably can call them and ask them. I bet you they can still cut you one of these guys. Barstow, I think, in California can make you one. Underwood and Double Tap make ammo for it, and it's no more expensive than their other high quality ammo. Underwood's just my favorite. It's what I've used for years. I've had years ago, I used Double Tap. That seemed like pretty good stuff, too. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully, this comes out to be a pretty cool video.